What's up fam, thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So, one of my most frequently watched videos also so happens to be one of the very first uploads that I put on this respective channel and that video was predicated on just a few alternatives to the fear of God indigo denim and if you're not familiar with the denim, I'll go ahead and put a picture right here. That being said, as time has progressed, there have been a plethora of different companies coming up with their very own variation to the very, very popular jeans. And today, I've just assimilated for you my top three zipper denim alternatives. Uh, this is gonna be a revamped video to the previous one because guys, there are some really good ones out there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what I brought. So here are some of the best pieces of denim that money can buy. These also sit at a significantly lower price point uh, relative to that of the Fear of God indigo denim. And these also just so happen to be some of my favorite uh, pants at the moment. If you uh, follow me on Instagram or on my Instagram story or on Snapchat, you'll see me wearing these quite a lot. That being said, I'd like to delve into each respective pair of denim. That way we can get a bit more of a specific look to see which pair of denim is best for you. First up is a pair of hyper denim, more specifically the Mufa denim in the hyper blue colorway. You guys already know man, I had to add this to the video, I couldn't make this video without talking about hyper denim. You guys know that I wear these time and time again if you follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat. Uh, these are essentially my go-to just because uh, their composition being 98% cotton and 2% spandex makes these for a very comfortable, stretchy pair of pants. As we look at these jeans in totality, we see all the same areas of distressing as the Fear of God denim. Um, there is distressing on the right thigh, as well as on the left, which is a bit more faint. Um, as we move lower onto the jeans where the knees are, uh, the knees are blown out with some detached strings and thread, uh, which give that nice vintage look. And as we move all the way down to the bottom of the jean, uh, we see here that there are zippers on the ankles, on the insides of the ankles, uh, that give it that nice fear of God look. For hyper denim, I definitely suggest you guys going true to size. I'm personally a bit more stocky. I have uh, bigger quads and bigger calves, and I find that these are so stretchy that I can get away with going true to size. In my opinion, they fit just fine, so I definitely go true to size for hyper denim. A lot of you guys already know I am a big fan of hyper denim. They look good, they feel good, they're light. But uh, that being said, I did want to talk about some negative aspects about the pants just to be objective. And the first thing I wanted to say is uh, the distressing and talk about the distressing a little bit. Uh, the distressing on these pants do feel very, very manufactured and look it um, as well. With these pants, you're not gonna get that sense that they are aged. You don't, you're not gonna get that sense that they are legitimately lifted from the 90s and brought um, into the, you know, into our uh, decade. So that's my first drawback on these pants. Second, uh, the fact that they are just too light. Um, a majority of the time, guys, I don't feel like I'm wearing denim. When I'm wearing denim, I like to feel like that nice, heavy, like denim ounceage. I, for me personally, that's what makes denim high quality in my opinion, and you're not gonna get that feel from these pants. That being said, these are a great alternative. They fit very well. If you're looking for a pair of pants that you can wear when it's warm, like here in the Southern California climate, these are an awesome alternative to look at. And given the fact that they're priced at $60 and offer a 20% coupon, it's, it's not a bad look guys, so definitely give them a look. This next pair of denim here is one that caused quite a bit of controversy on social media, and if you guys don't follow Hypebeast on Instagram, you would have missed this picture, which essentially illustrates Jerry Lorenzo's frustration with Hypebeast, a brand that he constantly works in unison with, and their gall, their nerve, the audacity of them to promote a company that is essentially replicating his designs. 
I think this would be a great conversation piece to have down in the comment section down below. Let me know guys, answer this question for me. Do you guys think that Jerry Lorenzo's uh, frustrations are justified? I'd like to hear your opinions out there. Um, I've heard um, that because they're so exclusive and their price point is so high that he shouldn't be as mad. And I've heard the contrary. Jerry's worked so, so hard uh, to put this look, this aesthetic on the map. Uh, the marketing of the people that he had to network with to get these uh, pants on certain people to popularize them. Um, and they're just ripping them off. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, is his frustration justified? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Before I get into the review of the M1 Denim by Minimal, I just wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to Angelo from Hawaii. Brother, I got the letter. I really appreciate the gracious and kind words and the gesture of you donating this pair of pants for me to review. Really appreciate it, man. These guys, these pants are back ordered until mid-November, so there's no way for me to get them. I was just looking online to try and buy a pair, and I wrote a comment asking to purchase a pair off somebody else on the Fog Facebook group, and two community members reached out to me and said, I want to donate uh, my pants to you, and First, I got a size 32 and then a size 30. So guys, Angelo, thank you so much. And to the other community member who prefers to remain anonymous, thank you, brother. You know who you are. And I just want to say I appreciate you for it. As I had already stated, here in front of me is a pair of M1 Denim by Minimal. Guys, to start out with, these are an awesome pair of pants. Uh, they sit at approximately 13.5 ounces and are comprised of 100% cotton. That essentially means that there is going to be zero stretch to them whatsoever. Now, on one camp, I know some of you guys prefer the stretch, and for some of you guys, that's actually something that tells you that they're quality denim, so um, it's up to you to decide on that fact. But yes, these do not stretch at all. What I love about these pants is that they suit my body type a lot better. While they are very skinny, and they are pretty long, and they do have very, very good stacks, the inseam sits at a 32, which is perfect for me due to the fact that I'm shorter in stature, standing at approximately five foot eight. so these are an awesome alternative. That being said, for those of you who wear a bigger waist uh, than me, uh, they do go up to a inseam of 34, so that's something to take into account as well. Answering the question of sizing is gonna come with an answer that's a bit more ambiguous, and that's due to the fact that my answer is gonna be predicated much more on preference than anything else. On body right now, I'm wearing a size 30, and what I've found thus far is they are very stiff, have zero stretch, as I already stated. That being said, what I love about the size 30 is the fact that because they're a bit tighter um, in the calf region, I can pull the jeans up, and behind my knee makes for awesome stacking. Conversely, for the size 32, I find that these are a lot more comfortable. I have more room in the quad and the calf region. Um, in terms of buttoning them, it's really effortless to put them on. So wearing them for a full day, these are the option to go with for like comfort. However, for me personally, I like the look of the size 30. So at the end of the day, it's really all preference. This last pair is without doubt the best pair amongst the three as it pertains to quality and wash. If you have that extra buck to spend because these run a little bit more expensive than the rest of them, definitely go for them. These are priced at $200 if you want the premium version which is embellished with Riri zippers, that of which is very similar to the Fear of God Indigo denims. They share that same um, zipper system there, as well as a denim ounces of 15 ounces. When it comes down to it, it's the details of these pants that make them so special. Mint Crew definitely did a great job. I mean, just the unpackaging itself is just substantially different. You have this nice, high quality uh, canvas bag that it comes in and unboxing them or unbagging them for that matter um, and just seeing the denim in hand and feeling their weight, uh, you just know you're getting a very, very high quality denim. This is definitely on par with some of the most expensive jeans out there. So you're definitely getting a bang for your buck when it comes to mint denim. 
In regards to sizing, I would definitely suggest that you guys size upwards. I am generally a size 30 respectively in other brands, but in this pair of denim here, a 32 is still a little bit snug in the waist region. Now, as it pertains to availability, mintcrew.com says all denim is sold out. Just something to keep in mind, these are a prototype of a brand new batch that will be releasing within the next month or so. So stay tuned on that, check the website continuously, and I will definitely be tweeting out as soon as they restock. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope that it was helpful, I hope that it was insightful, and I hope that I was able to answer any questions that you guys may have had about each respective company. That being said, feel free to comment below. You guys already know I do my best to comment back to every single comment, so hopefully I can answer any other questions of topics that I didn't touch upon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. It definitely goes such a long way for us YouTubers. And with all that being said, I'm going to end this video like I end every video here at Locust and Wild Honey. I'm going to say peace and be blessed.